Well, it's about 5 a.m. Starting to break daylight just a little bit. You gotta start early in the morning on these hot summer days. This is July the 2nd. We're gonna go see if we can dig some Civil War relics up on this hill, on the side of this hill here. And see if we can find some relics. Hopefully we'll find some bullets and buttons, but you never know, but hopefully we'll find something good. All right, let's see what we we'll find. Well, here I am, July the 2nd. It's still hot, but it's not as humid as it's been being. I dug a real good bullet here. Good three right there. I think it's a 54. Yeah, I think it's a 54 caliber. Find a lot of those in here. I dug a few more here. More fired ones. Just a couple round balls. Still see the sprue on that one. Those couple pieces, maybe, I don't know what they're off of, an old snuff can, or I don't know. I don't know what they're off of, I'll have to clean them up. Probably off of an old snuff can or something. Part of a horseshoe, part of a square nail right there. All right, let's see if we can find something else. Well, I dug a pretty good hole here. Got quite a bit of dirt piled out. It's way down in the bottom. I mean, it is a mushroomed bullet. I mean, right there's like what's the base. Man, it hit hard. I mean, it is flat. But you can see the base of the bullet right there. You can see a little bit of the rings there around the edge, but I mean, it is flattened out. Because there's the cavity, you know, the base. And it's just flat. And right there's the cavity right there. Man, this sucker hit hard. It's a real good mushroom bullet. I mean, flat. Alright, let's see if we can find something else. Well, I dug a pretty good hole here. Finally got to it. It's pretty deep. It's under a bunch of roots. It's a real good drop. 58. That's a real good bullet there. It's a real good Civil War bullet. Yeah, I'm real glad to get that one. That's a perfect one. Perfect draught. All right, let's see if we can get something else. Let's see if we can find some more relics. Here I am this morning, dug a pretty good hole, took out a lot of dirt. Got the bullet right there in the bottom of the hole. You can see the rings on it. Looks like a three ringer. Too. Dang, that's pretty neat. Looks like another bullet hit it. It's pretty wild looking. It's got that one indention right there in the side of it. Pretty wild looking. It does look like another bullet might have hit it, but who knows? I don't think I've ever dug one with a spot like that on the side of it, ring on it. Who knows though, it could have hit a rock sideways, there's no telling. Alright, let's see if we can find something else. Well, I got another good signal by this old cedar stump here. Dug down and got it out, it's a fired three ringer. Not a good Civil War bullet. It's kind of rough digging up against that cedar stump, all those roots coming off. But it wasn't real deep. Probably one about four inches deep. Alright, that's another good Civil War rally. Alright, let's see if we can find something else. Well, here I am, January the 16th. I dug a deep hole there and it was underneath that root. I kept digging until I finally got it out. Got a big pile of dirt here. It's a big piece of melted lead. I mean, it's pretty big. I see like some lines or something on the back. I'm hoping it could be like maybe 
maybe just melted lay in or it could be a plate and it's real heavy looks like it's bent over so it could be a plate melted through in a fire i'll have to clean it up when i get home or it could be just a giant piece of lead but i mean it's really big all right well, it's january the 16th 2016. all right let's see if we can find something else well, here I am, January 16th. I dug a real deep hole there. It was up underneath that root. I kept digging and piling up dirt everywhere. And I got a square needle out. And I kept getting a signal, kept getting a signal, so I kept digging and digging. And I got a button right there. And I haven't wiped it off yet. We'll wipe it off a little bit, see if we can tell what it is. It's a general service. It's a, it's a coat size general service eagle with a shield in the middle. It's still a real good find. It was a real deep target. It's probably at least 10 or 12 inches deep under that root. That's a real good find. All right, let's see if we can find something else. Well, I got a pretty good signal here. I dug pretty deep there, probably eight inches. Finally got it out. It's a little pistol bullet. It appears to be like a 36 coat, or well, 36 maybe. That's what it is. A 36 pistol bullet. All right, let's see if we can find something else. Well, I'm walking up this old ditch here, like old creek bed big old ravine here between these two hills I was walking through it taking up this ditch and I just happened to look up under this out this rock right here this little outing this little ledge and there's a three ringer laying right there how cool is that the three ringers just laying right up under that little ledge there and just right on top of the rock that is so cool that is so neat right there it's just laying right on top of the rock all right, let's look some more in this ditch and see if we can find something else. Well, I got a signal right up against that tree right there. I mean, it's right on that cedar tree. Right down. You're talking about a mushroom, fired mushroom bullet. That and this mushroom down. You can see it was a three ringer. I cleaned it up a little bit. See the base there, but that thing is mushroom down. Not even flattened. You still see the rings around the back. And Oh, there, the cavity. Now that puppy was mushroomed out. All right, let's see if we can find something.